as the all-important playoff seeding starts to solidify. In this game, Brooklyn Nets. And for Brooklyn, they're currently holding on to the best record in the league, not the conference, the league. They've been head and shoulders above the competition this season. And for all those teams that have wrapped up playoff spots, Shaq, what can we expect from them strategically here at the end of the regular season? Well, for the top team, Ernie, it becomes about securing home court advantage. You want to be peaking at the right time heading into the playoffs. We've seen a lot of teams, Ernie, start off strong. Where are they now? Do you, do you want rest if you're a frontline player, if you're a guy who's... Who Welcome everyone to another presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. Last game for the Nets, they picked up a W against the Charlotte Hornets. And I don't think I was the only one surprised, not just by their win, but guys, by what an emphatic win it was. And the deciding factor in that one was their success from the floor. I mean, they just hit big shots time and time again. Yeah, just the way you want it when you're the road team. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into it. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Gordon out there with Porzingis. And then there's Antetokounmpo. Then it's the chosen one, and it's Booker in at the two. Here's the chosen one, and he the gets chosen. it to go. The chosen one's got the opening field goal of the game for the Nets. Don't take your eyes off of him because he can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Put the isolated cam on him. Davis sets a screen. Kicks to Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. On the money from 12 feet away. We're about one minute into the first. It's stolen by Davis. Now it's Parsons. Running, he can go all the way. And a great job of taking advantage of the steal there to get those easy ones in transition. You know, that's exactly how you draw it up, Greg, on the board. I mean, good defensive work, aggressive play in the open court. Those two things are hand in glove when they work together. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. The Pacers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Augustine dishes to Jordan. Inside, here's Davis. And good. He got the English that time as it falls. Davis has got his first two points of the night. And you look back at his season, Anthony Davis's development offensively just breathtaking. Yeah, it really is. I mean, his ability to face up and break defenders down with the triple threat, that's really the foundation of his attack. And he's got a tremendously quick first step and a much improved jumper, too. The Pacers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Jordan kicks to Augustine, and he gets it to go. Augustine. Augustine's got his first basket. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Looking at the last game for the Indiana Pacers, it was a loss to the Raptors in Toronto. And you guys know how much I love aggressive defense, but in that game, they were just a bit over the top, and it wound up getting them in foul trouble. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was not just aggressive, it was reckless. I mean, they approached it more like bumper cars in a game of basketball. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Here's Jordan. No good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Last time they met was in Brooklyn. Yeah, they were able to keep it close for the most part, but you could just tell they were not in sync as a unit. Greg, you're exactly right. It couldn't have been worse, in my opinion. They didn't look fresh at any point in the game. Just seemed to be flat and listless. No spark. The Pacers making a change here. Cassell's checked in. Here's Jordan. 26 points for him last game against the Raptors in Toronto. And not just the scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense, grabbing three steals on the night as well. And Brooklyn has possession, following the miss by Anthony Davis. And sometimes he can hit that D3, but it's not a high percentage shot for him. Yeah, even for him, that's out of his range. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And that's trail by three. Over in the corner, on to Kumbo. It's good from long range. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. 
Here's Cassell, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Davis, rebound Brooklyn. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Cassell. Eight points his last outing. Now the feed to Parsons. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. Parsons got his second basket of the night. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Pacers. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Norkic checked in for Wallace. Dudley comes in for Chandler Parsons. And Darren Williams is subbed in for Jordan. Then for the Nets, Thunder comes in for Andre Tacumbo, and it's Ellie in for Booker. Outside Williams. Cassell against Ellie. The shot misses. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. To the paint. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Davis. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. And for Jared Dudley, a bit of a resurgence last season. Found a team you like playing for, played much closer to his career numbers than the year before with the Clippers. Yeah, and that's a great point. I mean, he turned back the clock in almost every category. And I think to your point, a lot of it has to do with the fit. He's in a, on a team in a role that suits his talent. And I think you're going to see him continue to be consistent. Here's Gordon. Misses off the right iron. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. We got a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. You wonder how much that'll play going forward. Yeah, it's a game of inches, and every play counts. And, you know, going back to Jared Dudley, he helps you in so many different ways. Shoots a lot of threes, yet does so efficiently. He rebounds, he passes the ball. He'll get a little physical, too. He's a valuable vet to have in your in your locker room. Davis, good, and it's Williams who picks Davis up the assist. And both teams trading punches back and forth. This thing's like a heavyweight fight. <laughs> the momentum swings, really impossible to keep track of. The energy in the building just keeps going back and forth, ebbing and flowing. I'm loving it. Here's Cassell. Screen by Norkic. Williams kicks to Davis. One second left. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a... It's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And when you consider how the Pacers are doing, guys, what do you think? I, I just think that from an intensity standpoint, their defense has really been the key. It's been the catalyst as they've been able to disrupt their opponent's offense. Absolutely. I mean, they've been much more intense defensively. And their defense not only has been intense, but it's been swarming and saran wrap-like. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Winslow is out there with Antetokounmpo. Then it's Moutier, and it's Perzingis in at the center position. Cassell against Antetokounmpo. Parsons attacking, 14 feet away. The second chance effort, and it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. And we'll take a look here at a very skilled bunch of point guards at the strike. Look at the numbers they've put up over the last 10 games. And you look at Augustine, fourth in the league, and as consistent as they come at the free throw line. He's been a model of consistency at the free throw line all season. He's as dependable up there as he is on the floor at any given moment. Yeah, you know, he runs their offense with tremendous poise, and he brings that same composure with him to the line every time he steps up there. That's good. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from the end. Now here is Augustine. 
14 points from him the last game against the Raptors in Toronto. And don't forget about his work on the glass. I mean, he contributed in a number of ways. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Moutier with the basket. Clark, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. That reminds me of a song. Yeah, Kevin, that's cameo, uh, to be exact. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchup. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. The chosen one, he's checked in for Moutier. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Jordan kicks to Parsons. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got four assists now tonight. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical, be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. Here's Augustine following the bucket by the Nets. A floater, got a hand on it. Here's the chosen one. 29 points for him last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Yeah, and, but I also thought the rebounding was impressive. He got some huge boards in that game. Wallace a screen. Now here is Augustine. He's covered closely. They retain possession. It'll go, and the next lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Parsons. Brooklyn's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. From past the arc, no luck. The Pacers have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. It's stolen by to Takumbo. That's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. And quickly, let's look at the numbers for Chandler Parsons. Breaking down his play since the All-Star break. He's putting up about 14 points tonight, three assists, and three rebounds. And those numbers, solid, not spectacular. And sometimes what you see is what you get. He certainly knows his role, and he gives you some good minutes. That's really all you can expect from him at this point. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Cazell. Rebound, Brooklyn. And guys, in a draft with so many talented big men. Look at that oh, jam. I mean, just beautiful. And you talk about momentum. That sort of action delivers a type of energy to your team that you just can't quantify. I, you know what? I'm going to quantify it right now, Clark. <laughs> and this is a close game, and that was something special. And, and really, in, in, in a game, <laughs> you guys, in a game like this, though, when you have a chance to send a message, you do. And, and boy, oh. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a... <laughs> Team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, partner? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint. That's for sure. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Norkic checked in for Wallace. Dudley comes in for Chandler Parsons. And it's Williams in for Augustine. Here's the chosen one. He started by Williams, and that is good. And started hot, and he's only got an arm. Pacers trail by seven. Outside Jordan. Davis sets a screen. Off the screen. That's good from Williams on the assist from Michael Jordan. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. The chosen one passes to Persingas. Booker in the corner. There's a good screen. Down low, goes up off the pick. Sinks it, and the shot from Persingas. Persingas has got the lead up to seven now for Brooklyn. 
Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. That's a great point. Ten of the last 12 points they've allowed have come at the rim. And taking a look here at some numbers for Booker, just an incredible month of basketball. Third in three-point shooting. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as the top 15 in field goal percentage. And he's the type of three-point specialist that doesn't need a ton of shots to rack up points. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Brooklyn leading by six. The chosen one passes to Persingas. Releases. No good. Jordan with some nice D. The Pacers have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. On its way from Dudley for two. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. 44 seconds left here in the second. Pass to the chosen one. Fires for three. Williams with the defensive effort. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And the pass to Winslow. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Rebounded by Dudley. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had earlier. Nobody near Norkic. That one's good from the corner. Norkic has got his first points of the night. Here's the chosen one. Davis with some nice D. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy... And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. I would call that a competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good moments from both teams, but as that's going to do it for now as the second half is just about ready to get started. We'll see you later. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. What can you say? The chosen one, an impressive effort here today. And his play in that first half, how about the discipline to go along with the efficiency, guys? His shot selection was just perfect. I agree. I mean, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, he is taking only what the defense has given him and not trying to do too much. Very much playing within himself. B.J. Augustine out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Davis. Then there's Chandler Parsons. And it's Wallace in at the five spot. That's the group starting the second hand for Frank Vogel. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why. I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Hey, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Well, whether you call him the brow or ant or the future, Anthony Davis made the leap in year three to franchise superstar. I mean, still, though, he remains humble, determined to improve, and, and dedicated to maximizing his immense potential. Pass to Antetokounmpo. From deep three-point range, but they recover it. Here's the chosen one. He's guarded by Davis. And stolen by Jordan. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. That gives them the lead. And the Pacers lead by two. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we can see right there why he does. And he gets it to go. Assist from. 
and his former coach Monty Williams played with some greats Tim Duncan David Robinson Patrick Ewing he says he sees that same desire to dominate in Anthony Davis yeah he wants to be great and doesn't see himself as a finished product which is a good thing that means he's going to continue to stay humble and hungry and put the work in and the Pacers call time here and did not seem happy about how things are going on right now and, and maybe wants to make some changes I agree I mean just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time and in that case I think it's the right thing to do let's find out what Doris Burke has for us hey Kevin during that last break I heard Frank Vogel addressing his team Parsons was the focus of the discussion and he wants their offense to run through him Coach is calling on him to play a big role in the offense for the rest of this game to really be one of the key guys for them down the stretch. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. All right, Doris. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Shot that bucket in in no time at all. 19 points for the chosen one. Really just a tremendous day. For him and if you remember he was just as good in their last game Wallace a screen Augustine from outside the rebound by the Nets Booker's got three rebounds now in this one there's a screen Davis with the double team the chosen one passes to Booker Onda Takumbo kicks to Booker just four to shoot. That shot wide open. And it's a five point Nets lead. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Gazelle, the best to Davis. Wallace left side. Augustine with it. Oh, trying for it. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Williams is checked in for Augustine. So here is Indiana. Williams dishes to Parsons. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got three assists now in this one. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. You're right, Clark. Just continue to pound it in the paint and get those easy points inside. And it's Parsons slamming it down. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Cassell. And he gets it to go. And now, 24 points for the chosen one. Pacers trail by three. Outside Williams. Davis kicks to Williams. It's deflected. Here's Wallace. Banked in off the glass. Wallace has got four this quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. To the middle. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second point. And here now on the 2K leaderboard, the best distributors in the league. The point guards with the most assists per game this season. And you look at the chosen one, an uncommonly gifted passer, leading the league in assists. And for the purest out there, he has been fun to watch with the ball in his hands. I mean, he can make any pass on the court and creates so many easy baskets for his teammates. Call him their heart and soul. I mean, their offense would be completely different if he wasn't the guy running the show. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatic. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? Yeah, Perhaps. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> He's an athlete, and I, I can't fault it for that one. Although, if he missed it, I might have. To the paint, here's Cassell. And it's off the back rim, no good. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Cassell, and he gets it to go. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. From 11 feet away, kept alive, 
And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And the chosen one gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Checking in for more bases. Yusa Nurkic. Jared. 17 seconds left to play here in the third. Michael Jordan. Here's Cassell. Back to Jordan with two seconds left. The shot, no good. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Nets lead by six. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. You ain't really trying to get rich. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Nets leading by six. So for Brooklyn now, they've got Porzingis. Winslow is out there with Antetokounmpo. Then it's the chosen one, and it's Booker in at the shooting guard position. Here's the chosen one, headed by Augustine. Six on the shot clock, and it's D.G. Augustine with the foul. That's his first foul. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Here's the chosen one. From deep. Jordan with the rebound. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, it seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. Well, that's a great pass by Darren Williams. And the net shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. The chosen one passes to Persingas. Puts up the baby hook. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got three rebounds so far in the game. And it's Jordan with the jam. And one area where they haven't struggled has been transition. Yeah, I think that may be their ticket out of the hole. Look for even more of those quick hitters. They set the pick. Here's the chosen one to the inside. Here's Persingas, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And the Nets lead by four. And Bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Indiana making some changes. Wallace comes in for Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Anthony Davis in for Darren Williams. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Here's the chosen one. It's rebounded by Indiana. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. Davis setting the pick for Augustine. He dishes it to Dudley. Misses the three. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. Pacers trail by four. Jordan dishes to Davis. And Augustine kicks to Wallace. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Nets. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. And Indiana making a change here. Parsons has checked in. That's good. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either, so that's a double-edged sword there. Jordan kicks to Augustine. Passes it to Davis. Dishes it to Augustine. Just three to shoot. Davis sets a screen. And the shot is good. You know, huge height advantage there. 
but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control is essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. The chosen one, and right through it goes. The chosen one's got 36. And what a move, guys. I mean, he's absolutely embarrassing him out there right now. Well, that's an ankle breaker, Greg. You know that. And then he calmly knocked it down. Sweet. Pacers trail by six. And Augustine kicks to Davis. Releases. Augustine, no luck. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Here's the chosen one. He's guarded by Davis. Here's the chosen one. Shot is off. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Left side, Davis, 11 feet away. And good! Coming in on the assist by D.J. Augustine. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. Here's the chosen one by Augustine. Here's the chosen one. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. The chosen one's got 38 points. You look at the chosen one, he's been playing really well. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way, they've got to figure out how to contain it. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, I was able to hear the advice Frank Vogel gave to his team during that last break. No surprise, really. The turnover situation was the focus. He told them, listen, we're giving it away, guys. We've got to protect the ball, play within ourselves, and get quality shots. Kevin? That was a screen, and the chosen one gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Timeout called the Pacers. They're losing by six. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. He lobs it up, and it's Davis finishing it off. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then first to the rim for the alley oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. And guys, anytime it's real tight, you're looking for something that could be potentially a momentum builder. And that's exactly what that play looks to be. Casal, the pass to Davis. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. He's chance here now for a three-point play. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Well, how about Anthony Davis in this one? He has 15 points. And he's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. And it also tells you just how high his basketball IQ is. I mean, seeing plays develop before anyone else does on the court. Shot from 12. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. Now just a one-point Nets lead. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. The chosen one passes to Booker. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Davis. And here's the fast break to take the lead. No good from Jordan. Brooklyn with the ball. The chosen one passes to Persingas. Honda Takumbo sinks it. Those are huge points. Beyond huge, partner. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. Here's Cassell. Onto Takumbo, pulls it in. I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. 23 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Takes the three. And the Nets, another three. And really, with every point from this point on, it seems like they're just closer to finishing this one off. If they haven't already done it. I mean... Hey, it's been a tremendous all-around performance from this group. I don't think there's any question about that. Hey, 
17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Connects! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Damn. A lot of space Touchdown. right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Well, yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. And so the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. Here's the chosen one, and now they decide to foul intentionally. Sam Cassell. That's his first personal foul. First two foul. The chosen one. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. Parsons dishes to Davis. And a wide-open look for Jordan. It's money from deep. Michael! And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Cassell can't connect. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And coming up next, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The 2K Sports post-game show. Hey folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Let's take a look now as we give our nod to our Jordan player of the game. He had an outstanding third quarter. Whatever they needed in terms of energy and offense, he was the firepower that propelled them during the second half. I don't know what got into him tonight. Whew. He caught the scoring bug and was just pouring it in the paint. That's the kind of offense he's capable of delivering when he sets his mind to it. He wasn't just a big part of the offense tonight. He was their offense. If you score like that and that frequency, some people will say you're selfish. But if you score like that and you win, they call you a hero. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.